All right, uh, it's my project, Project Rise. Um, yeah. So uh, I'd say the first, like the main thing that I knew that I wanted to do with this project was uh, some sort of tune shader with uh, some simpler lighting. You can really see it if I jump off the camera here. It's separated into distinct bands of color. Um, I set it up so that I can control the bands, like how long the bands are, uh, where the cutoff is, uh, and how many bands uh, there are. Um, the next thing about the tune shader that I, I knew that I wanted to do was this like cross-hatching uh, effect in the ambient occlusion. Um, I really liked how it looked in games like Hi-Fi Rush, as I'd stated before, um, and I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. In the end, I'm generating a render texture, also from a shader graph uh, shader, and then I am uh, triplanar mapping that um, and lerping it based on the uh, ambient occlusion pass, uh, screen space ambient occlusion pass uh, within Unity's custom uh, post-processing stack. Um, the next thing uh, that I also knew I wanted to get was this the bende dot bloom. Um, I thought it was a very cool effect, and I just really wanted to learn how the scriptable render pipeline worked uh, for these custom post-process passes. Um, and I'm really happy with the way uh, that turned out as well, though it did cause me quite a few headaches. Um, the next thing, uh, the grass and the trees. Um, I really wanted it to be outdoor with maybe some buildings and stuff, but in the end, these were the two main models uh, that I uh, got in. Uh, in the future, I plan on giving a custom wind shader to uh, make them sway in the wind um, or just like add a little bit of motion. Um, yeah. On the islands themselves, um, other than the uh, custom tune shader, which I already talked about, uh, the grass is also done procedurally based on the normal um, of the object. You can really see that over here where this is the same as all these flat islands, just turned around. Um, and you can really see uh, it adds a lot of uh, customizability. I can just use one or just fewer objects when I'm designing scenes um, and making uh, levels. Uh, the Tune Shader also, uh, I forgot to mention, supports multiple uh, lights. Right now I set it to up to three lights. Um, I could add more into the shader if I would like to, but I thought that uh, three lights would give a good stylized uh, view uh, of everything. The last shader that I really worked on um, was this uh, water shader here, where it's got a um, fade uh, color based on the depth uh, of the screen space. Uh, it has also got um, transparency difference based on the normal that you're looking at the water. Uh, so the more directly above the water you are, uh, the clearer it'll be. Um, you can only see that up here. I also added the tune shader and some ripples to the um, sides of the water. Uh, I think that adds uh, a lot because it really interacts with the world a little bit more. I would like to learn how to like add that better instead of just having it also be uh, screen space depth because it does conform to the uh, circumference of whatever objects it's colliding with, um, which can look a little bit weird once you notice that it's happening. Um, that's mostly it for the shaders. Um, the VFX I added were um, these dots over the water. I had them in other places in my test scene, but I thought they really fit a lot more uh, on the water. Uh, I also have the um, hit uh, particle effect uh, whenever you uh, hit something with the uh, rope dart. And then over here you can see uh, I added a VFX graph for some falling leaves um, to create some ambiance in the in the level. Um, so yeah, that's uh, I think most of the things that I've added throughout this project. Uh, it's been super fun to work on, definitely uh, fairly challenging because um, I haven't done very much shader code. Um, I've done a little bit of shader graph, but not too much HLSL um, and definitely no uh, post-processing render, like script render pipeline stuff. So it was a really fun uh, project to work on and I, uh, I enjoyed the class a lot, so thank you.